Hi, my name is Emily Thiel. I teach the violin, the viola, and the cello at the Lone Star School of Music. Today, I'm going to show you why it's so important that we hold the cello bow correctly, like this. Now, as you can see, all my fingers are balanced, and when you look behind, the thumb is in this little area right here that's really hard to get when you're first starting. Um, so now, the reason why we do this is because it's much easier to play our favorite songs with the bow hold in the correct place. Now I'm going to show you an example of one of my favorite songs on the cello. Uh, first with the correct bow hold and second with a beginner bow hold. So here we go. And now I'm going to transition to just a random beginner bow hole. This is how most people tend to think they pick up the bow when they first start. I'll show you what that looks like. We'll see, we'll see what happens. So as you can see already, it's not working too well. <laughs> so um, the importance of this bow hold is that you're going, to, you're going to keep your fingers balanced while you're playing. And so the motion when you move the bow is actually your hand will subtly go back and forth. You might have seen that while I was playing just a little bit. Um, and then the two strongest fingers, well not the strongest fingers, but the, the central fingers that you do when you're making a grabbing motion that come together are going to be your middle finger and your thumb. And as you can see when you put them on the bow, they are balanced. And I'll show you from the back side too, they're balanced on the bow. Um, and so this is important to prevent injury for your hand so that you're not holding it like in a bad way like this or like this or something. Um, thank you for watching. If you want to learn more, um, you can comment below or watch our other videos on the Lone Star School of Music website and YouTube page. And you can sign up for classes with me on, at www.lonestarschoolofmusic.com. Thanks for watching.